So, uh, we are uh, sitting here on the night um, of uh, the first stage of Pablo Across America 2011. Um, it's a really great night. We just had a uh, party thrown for us here at the home of Ann Klassman and David Zimroff. David is the Chief Marketing Officer for SRAM and ZIP, two of our sponsors. And we were lucky enough to, um, to uh, hang out tonight with uh, Sue Henry, um, who is um, uh, someone who, who has been on our minds and in our hearts since the day we met her, um, since the day Joanne met her over the internet. Um, and uh, we have dedicated uh, rides to her daughter, Megan, uh, on our last two years rides, and now we're on our third year. And um, the, uh, the uh, tradition of our, of our dedications is that we, we uh, dedicate our resting hours to a child who, uh, like Pablo, has not made it. And uh, Megan was, um, was uh, diagnosed as a teenager. 16 years old. So, pretty old for pediatric cancer. Mm -hmm. And she uh, was an amazing, amazing person. Um, she really lived life absolutely to, to its fullest. Mm -hmm. And um, this thing that goes on inside the body of, a, uh, in her case, of a young adult with cancer, um, she was 22 years old. And, and she, uh, that's a long time to be battling cancer, in and out. Mm -hmm. What did she, um, what was her take on all this cancer stuff? Did it slow her down? Um, she was diagnosed at 16 years old and she fought cancer for five years and seven mm -hmm. months. Um, through that time, she finished high school, she went to nursing school, and she almost finished that. And there was no stopping Megan. Her <laughs> Her motto was, there's no use worrying about things you cannot change. Mm. And she knew she was, she had this disease for some reason. We, we may never know until we, until we die and see her again. But um, she just took it all in stride and lived her life. Um, we, they just um, dedicated a tree to her at her college after she passed away. and. And the professor said that they used to forget that she even had cancer, had any problems, because she was such a leader and such a such a strong, normal student that loved what she was doing. The uh, the spirit of a child with cancer you you can't understand it unless you witness it. Um, we are so used to the cancer of adults. We've grown up with it, we've seen it, it's been portrayed in movies. Um, it's a lot heavier with adults. Kids develop this real brightness. They're resilient, yeah. right? I, I've seen that in plenty of other kids at the children's hospital also. Yeah. It's like amazing how, okay, I've got cancer, i got to do chemo for a year, no problem, I'm a kid, I'm going to yeah. play. Yeah, and she didn't lose her dreams, and, and, and yeah. I imagine her dreams changed because of her life path. Yeah, and she relapsed uh, the second time in 2008, and we had lots of different second opinions, and you know, it, it's harder even than Pablo when you have an older child, yes, and they yes. get it when you go for second opinions and they tell your child you don't have a chance. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing how she, she walked out of one doctor's office and she said, that doctor doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to fight this, I'm going to be okay, and, and she did. She made it two and a half years longer when, it, you know, when things were not good and you know, we were hoping for a cure, but it didn't come in time. We, um, Joanne asked, asked me um, to dedicate our entire ride this year to Megan and, and um, it's the kind of thing a mom would ask. <clears throat> and and that's a very easy thing for me to 
to uh, to say yes to because it's that spirit that you that, that you just described that we're carrying forward. Um, and uh, I'm sure our, she would have been a great part of your team. Yeah, she would have. <laughs> She's never biked before, but I bet she can make it from Milwaukee yeah. to New Orleans. We're, we are we are uh, carrying the spirit of no matter what, getting up in the morning and kicking ass. Because that's what our kids did. And and we have no choice. We have no choice but to be where we are. And when people ask you and I and our spouses who are standing on the other side of the camera, why we do what we do, how can you go on, you know, these questions that come up, there's only about six of them, and you get asked them all the time. And the answer really is, because we have no choice. Right. And, and, uh, and the kids in treatment have no choice either. No, they don't. They so, take it in stride and do the best they can. Yeah. And we uh, are going to dedicate our entire ride to Megan. We're going to mm. carry her spirit um, with us all the way to New Orleans, which is such a special place for our family. And, uh, we're really glad we got to do this in person. Um, <laughs> it's really, really something. I mean, you have these dedicated ideas. a day each year you've done mm. this to our daughter. Yeah. And it's meant so much. And I can't believe you're dedicating the whole ride to her. Well, we're going to... Um, She's worn that Bob Love t-shirt a bunch of times. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> well, we're going to... Um, we're going to talk about her on the ride uh, tomorrow morning. And... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, with your permission, I wanna put, uh, I wanna write a blog post about her on the Pop blog and have her photo there, if you're okay with that, oh, yeah. so that we can really let people understand that pediatric cancer doesn't mean like a small baby or a little boy like Pablo only. It can also mean like a, a young lady, someone who's yeah. about to be an adult, who then crosses into adulthood and carries this pediatric cancer thing. Um, with her, right. and, and is able to go to college, and is able to be part of a, a, a college ecosystem, social ecosystem, and um, that's just something that we don't always think of. And so we're going to carry her dreams down to New Orleans, and um, we're going to treat her with respect, and we're going to go and uh, talk about her to the kids in other hospitals in other places of the country. So. We, uh, we're going to go to sleep now, um, and then we're going to wake up in the morning and we're going to do it all over again, okay? That means a lot. Yeah. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. <laughs>